This manual horizontal press brake is made for a very specific use. I want to make it more versatile by converting it to pneumatic power. This is the multi-form bender from J. Richards Co. It's basically a horizontal press brake, but machines like this are actually called steel rule die benders to stamp out things like leather in a clicker press. In my last video, I made a whole set of custom dies using laser cutting and proved that it can bend much beefier material than steel rule dies, even by hand. Now, in order to hook up the three inch bore pneumatic cylinder, I first need to make a stand and then I wanna make a rack to hold all of the dies. This rhino cart from Stronghand Tools makes welding so accurate and efficient Having this fixture table and clamps has unlocked a part of my brain that allows me to solve problems in ways I wasn't able to before. To hook up the cylinder to the bender, I'm going to fab a steel strap that connects to the handle. Hot diggity, that's stinking cool. That's a lot of force. This video is sponsored by SendCut Send. They're an online laser cutting service that has a wide range of metals. You upload a drawing, they give you an automatic quote, and they ship really fast. They cut the die rack and the cylinder mount for this project. They've been a super cool resource, allowing me to prototype really fast. Make sure to check them out. So now I need to figure out how to attach this laser cut plate to the frame of the cart so I can mount the cylinder to it. So it needs to mount vertically somewhere in here. I could weld a bar that came across the back here and weld it to the legs, but I feel like as the cylinder pulled up, it would have too much leverage and would bend it and bend the legs. What I think I'm gonna do is weld bars vertically down to the base here, and then that way it's pulling in tension. I'm gonna offset the die rack back a couple inches so that when all the dies are on it, they're inside the envelope of the cart and they don't catch on anything. This die rack has slots that accept the dovetails of the dies. I'm so glad this fit turned out okay. I didn't do any test cuts, but luckily math is math. I could 3D print an adapter to go from male to female dovetail, but I think I'm just gonna weld something onto the rack. And that gives me an opportunity to try the pneumatic conversion. I didn't think of that. That'll do. I totally meant to do that. I have two ways to change the force of the cylinder. I can slide this strap further out on the handle or I can adjust the air pressure. With all of my weight on the end of this lever, I apply 1200 pounds to the other side. With the cylinder at 140 PSI at this distance, it applies twice that force. Oh, couldn't do that before. Crazy. Couldn't do that before either. Holy moly, this thing turned out sweet. If you want to see the video where I made the dies for this, you can click right here, and I'll see you on the next one.